Hello, Leticia. Hi, Leticia, can you hear me? Leticia, can you hear me? Leticia, can you hear me? Hello, Leticia. Can you hear me or not? Can you hear me? Hello, Esther. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Oh, good, good. I was I was getting a little bit scared. I thought I, I thought that um, my audio was not working. Okay, how are you, Esther? How are you, teacher? How are you? I'm not bad. How are you? I'm so so too. You're so so. Why do you say that you're so so? Um, <clears throat> like medium. But why? Um, it's not a good day, but it's not a bad day. <laughs> it's medium. Okay, so it's a regular day. Okay, I understand. Okay, it's good things and bad days about this day. Is that right? Instead, you've had good things about today and bad things about today. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, I understand. I understand. Okay, well, um, Welcome to the others, Juan Carlos, welcome, eh, Roxana, welcome, uh, Nancy, welcome. Um, I guess Leticia cannot hear because she doesn't have her, the microphone on. Um, but let me say hi to everybody else. How are you? I'm fine. Do you share you? How are you? Not bad at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, just uh, pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that um, we are in the middle of the week um, and uh, very close to the, to the weekend again. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's something positive. <laughs> yeah. What about the rest of you? How, how have you been feeling? Me, me so so teacher. <laughs> really? Why? Uh, because I, I had, I is is correct. Tell I had, I had um a hard day with with uh, different activities. Um, I had, I had a little, a little um. Cansada, I'm sorry. Cansada. You're tired. I'm tired, yes, tired, tired. Okay. Okay, I understand. Yeah, I know. We, yeah, it's, it's um, sometimes one of those days very tiring, you know. But I'm glad you guys are here and um, I really, really appreciate that. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, so. Um, and Juan Carlos, I haven't I haven't heard from you. How are you? I 
fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, so, uh, Juan Carlos, do you are you outside of your house? Yes, always. I, I outside in my house. But is that like your patio or something like that? Sorry. Is that your patio? Um. Yes. Yes. Like like behind, behind the house. Behind the house, I have I have a patio too, and in front too. This is oh, a chipping nice. plank, plank, chipping. Okay, okay, and that's nice that you have a patio in, at the front and at the back. Wow, yes. where where do you live, Juan Carlos? I live in Guasapa. Oh, okay, that's why yes, you have a lot of Salvador. space. Yeah, because if you lived in San Salvador, here in El Salvador, <laughs> in San Salvador, we don't have no. any space to have in the front and the back. Yeah, yes. unless you have, unless you have a lot of money and you buy a big, big house. But other than that, you can't have a, a big place. Yeah, yes. that's nice. That's nice. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you are able to be out in the fresh air. That's nice. Yes. That's good. Okay, um, let me see. All right. Well, guys, uh, first of all, well, I don't know what has happened with the other students. Um, we have, I guess, I guess because it's maybe the middle of the week, we haven't gotten in. Okay, so um, I sent, I sent the, the um, what's it called, the links, the, the links for the, um, the, the exercises I wanted you to do, right? Um, and I wanted, I asked you guys to, to work on those exercises for you to get more practice with um, the, the, what's it called? Ah, what's it called? The, the future be going to and will. Um, now question, did we all do those exercises or did, uh, anybody had problems with those exercises? In my case, teacher, I did, and I sent you. Yes, you're absolutely right, Nancy. Yes, you, you sent it to me, and I sent you a little clapping. That was excellent. Very good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Wow. Oh, wonderful, wonderful job. What about the others? Because um, I, I know I received some, but not all of you sent it to me. Um, so I just want to know, um, you don't have to tell me you're great if you don't want to, you don't have to share it, but, um, but I do want to know if you were able to do it. Um, so uh, was everybody able to do it? Yes, I did. Okay, very good. Um, and how did you feel with it, Juan Carlos? Did you did you have a did you do a good job? Like, did you have the score that you wanted, or was it too difficult or too easy? Uh, so so, my my score is seven of ten, and six of ten. <laughs> but but uh, after after that, uh, I I try to to make the correct. Exam. Um, in, we have we have my my notes, and I have I I had the correction. You made corrections. Yes, yes, I made the cor I made the correction in the exam, but uh, my note my score is six. Uh, that, that was after you did the corrections yes after okay okay so question Juan Carlos what did you find was difficult about this I don't know I don't know when I when we talk to to play when we talk to uh, um, 
espontáneo. Spontaneous. Spontaneous, sí, yes. Tengo, tengo, sorry, en, en español, tengo esa confusión todavía. Creí, la verdad, creí haberla entendido ayer, pero hoy que lo volví a hacer, pues, <ríe> seguí fallando. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, al terminar el examen, seguí intentándolo y lo corregí, pero igual, tengo dudas siempre. Ok, ¿is there a specific sentence that you would like to, um, to look at and maybe I can help you? Is there something that you say, oh, I don't understand why this is, this is the answer? Let me see, let me see. Uh... In the, in the answer seven, we say, say we. You, you know what, Juan Carlos, how about if you write it in the chat? It will be easier if you write it in the chat so that we can all see it and, and understand what it is. Okay, sorry, in my phone. Oh, okay. Is it difficult for you to write in the chat? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Um, let me just see if is is it in the first link that I is it in the first exercises or the second exercises? Do you remember? Is the first in the first one? Yes, first one. The first exercises. Okay, let me see if I can. Okay. So what number? Seven. The one that talks about the barbecue? Uh, no. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so the one about the barbecue, it says, we mm, a barbecue tomorrow. It's all planned. So I hope you, the sun is shining. Notice the, the key word there is, it's all planned. It's planned. So it means that the person already, it, they, they are pretty sure that it's gonna happen. Because it's not something they made plans in the moment. Instead, the person is pretty sure that that's gonna happen because uh, the person made plans, okay? So in that case, we're going to be using, which one? Uh, are going to have? Right, we're going to have a, par a barbecue tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. But I, I confused uh, because the barbecue is tomorrow. It's uh, a specific day, a specific time. Por eso es que me confundí. Right, okay. Remember, Juan Carlos, the difference between will and be going to is that will is something that you make, you, you haven't really decided yet, or you make the decision in that particular moment. But be going to involves thinking about it many like for like thinking and making plans about it okay so you have you it, it takes a lot of um let's say like a dedication there to to making the plans or or maybe um, not necessarily making the plans but but at least thinking about the plans okay so so just just think, just remember that that's that's the key word there so it doesn't matter if it's about tomorrow it's about the press i sorry it's about today or it's about one week or one month or one year or 10 years from now it, that's not important what's important because remember uh, after all this is about the future right so it doesn't really matter how far into the future it is what's important is that you made the plans 
ahead of time. So you've thought about it. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense, Juan Carlos? Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. 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 What about the rest of you? Um, any questions about uh, about those exercises? Something you, some sentence that you didn't understand that you said I I don't understand what's why this is the correct answer. In my case, yes, in my case, I seen that that I had problems uh, with the understand um, understand the sentences uh, because uh, this is the the this is the reason because I had failed in the in the answers because I seen that I I had uh, I had problems. Uh, with the with the intention of the sentences, in, in, in that case, uh, I cannot uh, I cannot decide is I I I use a going to or will. Uh, uh, this is my problem. This is my problem in that. Okay. In that exercise. Could you repeat that again, Roxana? I didn't understand what. What 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 is the problem that you you not you're having with? Um, yes, my problem is uh, to understand uh, that the intention for the sentences for choose is the sentences is with is using going to or will. Uh, the the key is understand what is the intention of the sentences and. And some, sometimes I have problems to decide what is the intention. I I think I think this is the my my is my problem. Okay. Um. So Roxana, you okay? And and maybe that's a very good point where you you've um you brought up. So when you see a sentence and you are deciding if it's will or be going to. Which of those two do I choose? When you do that, you have to understand that uh, you that you need that this the what's important is the sentence itself, the context of the sentence, and to be able to understand the context of the sentence, sometimes what is very useful is to pay attention to words. These words that will identify if you are sure about something. Or you're not really sure about it. For example, if when you say things like, "I guess," "I think," um, "I believe," words like that indicate that you're not sure. Okay. Um, so any any words like that that indicates that, that you're not very sure about something um, tell us that the the plans are not. For sure, they're not definite. They are things that you, it's very possible that they're gonna happen, but you're not really sure. And then you would have to use will. So anytime you see words that tell you that the person is not really sure about what they're saying, even though they believe it, but they're not sure, then you would use will. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes. I. Uh... Last last night, I understand uh, to you all is explaining. For me, it was very nice explaining, and I understand explaining all. But today I had problem again in choosing the uh, the correct answer. Yeah, I, it happens. It happens, Roxana. Right. Um. So you know, don't worry about it because. You know, it happens to the best of us. Sometimes we understand it, and then in the moment of the practice, it may be completely different. So don't worry, that, that does happen. Now, but like I'm saying, the more you practice, the better you will get at it, okay? So remember, this is not the only course in where you're gonna practice 
the, the, the future forms. Okay, this is only one of many courses. In the future, you're going to be practicing, you're going to continue practicing the, the future forms. So don't worry so much about it. Now, what I do recommend, though, is that you pay, like I said, pay attention to words, key words in the sentence. So, um, like I said, words like that indicate that you're not sure about something, like saying, I think, I believe, maybe, possibly, might, maybe, you know, words like that, they are going to indicate that it's will, okay, mm -hmm. automatically. And then words, and then keywords that indicate that something that you've made plans, specific plans, like, like for example, in that sentence that that uh, we were mentioning before, it says it's all planned, ya está planeado. Well, if it says it's all planned, obviously the person has, um, obviously the person has a, they they they've done it before, like. They have, um, they have used it, um, so, but, but so they have, they have um, thought about it a lot, and because they've thought about it, then that means that there are plans. Does that make sense? Sure, yes. I think that uh, I need to practice and practice. Uh, of course. Yes, yes, practice, more practice. Of course. And there, that's why there is the, the saying, practice makes perfect. There is a saying that says, practice makes perfect, right? Which is very similar to in Spanish, right? La práctica hace... Al monje. Al maestro. Al maestro, exactly, yeah. And, and it's because um, everybody has, everybody that has... That is an expert or a master in something, you had to start somewhere. O sea, piénsenlo, nadie, nadie nació experto en algo. Todo, todo experto, todo, uh, todo, todo experto en un área tuvo que haber comenzado y, a, y a haber hecho errores. Y con el tiempo, con la práctica, mejoró. So it's okay, you can make mistakes and that's fine. And that doesn't mean that you don't understand it. It just means that you are the pers you're persistent and you're gonna get better at it. And every time you're gonna understand it more. Okay, so don't worry about it, but keep on trying. With the, with the link that you, that you uh, provide us, um, we, we came to practice more. Yeah, I, I, I am grateful with you because uh, there is uh, many, many examples with the exercise and, and we came to practice. Yeah, well, that's that's what I'm, that's my goal. I'd like to help you as much as I can. So I'm happy that I can do that, right? And um, I will try to send you more exercises if you need it. Um, I, I mean, I can send you more and more and more, but I just don't want to, overwhelm you so that's why i only send you like two a day right because i don't want you to be like obsessing and then going ah, i don't understand this right so just a little bit every day is better right so um i will try to send you a little bit more um either tonight or tomorrow morning okay okay thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. sorry nancy uh, nothing teacher, nothing teacher. But I would like to, and um, how do you say la practica es el maestro? The practice makes a teacher. Um, in English, the the saying is a little different. Um, it's not it's not exactly the same. In English, we say practice makes perfection. Uh, la practica es la perfección. That's what it is in English. Uh, thank you, dear. Yes, or you can also say, yeah, practice makes perfect, right? Makes perfect or makes perfection. Mm -hmm. But yes, that's that's the idea. Okay, so since we're here to practice, let's practice, okay? You, you practice a lot writing. Now it's time to practice speaking, okay? So what we're going to do is the following. I want you to think about... We are, we are in the middle of the week, right? We only have two more days for 
uh, for the weekend to start, right? Because for me, the weekend, I think, starts, um, you know, in like a prob Friday evening, right? So basically two more days, that's it. Two more days for the, for, for the weekend to start. So what do you plan to do for the weekend? Okay, I want you to think, what are your plans for the weekend? Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna give you right now some time to think about it, write down, what are your plans for the weekend? And it could, doesn't have to be just you, you can include your family too, right? So you, your family, your friends, whatever, right? What are your plans for this weekend? I plan to rest a lot. Oh, I like that plan. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I plan to rest a lot too. <laughs> good, good. Okay, so write it down. I, I'll give you a few minutes to write it down. Um, you know, maybe you can think about five things that you plan to do. And the, and the key word here is plan. So because it's planning, what structure are we going to use? Going to. going to exactly but going remember to. it's not just going to it's be going to el jo con eso okay very very important the verb the structure is be going to so don't forget the be okay that's extremely important you can't you can't eliminate be even if it's contracted you could say i'm but you have to have the m in there okay Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Any questions you want to ask while you're writing? Not this year. I'm ready. Oh, I like that. She's ready. Okay, good. Okay, I'll give you 30 more seconds to finish off just five, just five ideas of what things that you want, that you're planning to do. Okay, now, I want you to think about five things that you would like to do, but you're not really sure about doing. So you're like, ah, oh, it's a possibility. Maybe we'll do this, maybe we'll do that, but I'm not really sure about, okay? 
And in that case, what structure are we going to be using? Will. Exactly. Will. Okay. You can use the contraction as well, but make sure that we always have the will. And the, the next verb has to be in the base form. So no putting ing, don't put ed, don't put an s, nothing. Just the base form of the verb. In other words, the original form of the verb. Okay, are we ready and do we need more time? One minute. Uh, yesterday I could not be in the whole class, so I don't know much about what do what to do but then i will review okay that's fine esther um what we learned yesterday was basically uh well we we, we if, if you were if you were were you in class on monday yes i was you, you watched the video on monday or from Monday. I entered a la clase, pero I couldn't to be in whole the class and then I don't understand everything. Okay, yeah, I understand because uh, on Monday we started the topic, but it was at the end of the class. So it was not, um, you know, so if you were not able to be here in the whole class, then yeah, you probably don't understand why. Well, basically uh, what it is, Esther, is we are looking at two forms for the future. The first form, which is the future be going to, is we use be, like any form of be, like, or, like, or better said, um, depending on the subject, if it's I, it would be M, U, R, he is, she is, it is, uh, we are, they are. And after that, we use be going to, and then the base, the verb in the base form. Why we use a structure is when you're talking about a plan or an intention that you have for the future. Okay, so if you say, okay, what are you going to do this weekend? Well, this weekend, I'm going to go to the Bicentenario bar Park um, and I'm going to ride my bicycle with my best friend. Okay, so those are plans that you're making. You already you you've talked about it with your with your um, with your friend, you know, and and those are like you've been talking about, you've been thinking about it. So it's something that's pretty. You're pretty sure that it's going to happen. Maybe you're like I don't know you know, 70, 80% sure that it's going to happen. So it's, it's a pretty good idea that it's going to happen. But then there are some things that you may not be sure about. You haven't decided yet for sure. You're thinking about it, but you really haven't decided 
or you made the decision in that moment. You didn't have time to plan it, okay? In that case, we're gonna be using the future, the simple future, which is using will. And in that case, we use, for example, um, we use uh, he, like for example, we will, uh, we will probably um, watch a movie at home. So it's something that, you know, we really haven't decided, but that's a very big possibility. Does that make sense, Esther? Yes, yes, right. Thank you, teacher. Uh, it's like a probability, right? Yeah, it's a probability because you, it's, it is a possible, like it's possible for it to happen, but you haven't decided for sure that that's going to happen. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. All right, guys. Time to practice. I'm going to get you to work in groups and you're going to be talking about what are your plans for the weekend? What are you planning to do? Um, what are you sure about? Because, or what are you almost sure about? Because it's something you planned, you've thought about it, you've decided it. And what are the things that you do not, um, you're not very sure about? because you haven't decided, okay? So I'm going to get you to work in groups. Um, let me divide the class. Let me see, let me see, just give me a second. Okay, let's get you to work in um, groups of three or four. And I'm gonna give you yeah, about 10 minutes. I think should be okay. All right, so let's open. There you go, open up the groups and I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah. Ni modo. Ah, en Maximiliano, what happened with Maximiliano? How are you, Max? Uh, he didn't want to talk. The, yes, Maximiliano is, is, is silent. He's his microphone. Yeah. Now, can you hear me? Ah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. How are you, Max? Uh, I'm fine. I'm okay. so excited about the course. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. You working? Uh, this, today? Day, this day, I'm working a little in the, in the afternoon. Yeah. Ah, okay. 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 Okay, but you have now, time for do the homework. Yeah, I have time for do the homework. Okay. Ah, but I prefer study a little English, something like 5 a.m. is is more is is the best for me. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Oh. Okay. What, what you wanna do on next weekend? Next weekend, let me see. Okay, one one thing that I think to do. Uh, for next weekend is I am going to visit my mother on Saturday. On Saturday, yes, because uh, sometimes I don't have time, but I need to visit my mother. My mother, okay. And you, Max? Okay, me uh, next Saturday. Uh, in morning. I'm to buy some vegetables at Mercado Central for cook a uh, chicken soup in, in, in the noon. Okay. In the, I'm going to take a rest. Yeah. And in the night, uh, I'm going to eat pupusa with my family. Ah, okay. And, and uh, on next Sunday, uh, I'm going to help my sister to to shower our pets in the in the morning 
Oh, okay. And, and in the afternoon, I'm going to do some, something, some document, to write some document for work. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. You, Nancy? At the supermarket on Friday. I'm going to do the laundry tomorrow. I'm going to do my hair on hair on Saturday. I'm going to uh, I'm going to the church on Sunday. I'm going to oh, just that. And probably I will buy a piano. Maybe I will go to the beach next month. I think I will visit my friend on Sunday. I guess I will cook at night and probably I will watch TV at night. And let me see, is there a turn? Leticia. She's sleeping. <laughs> It's not clear. What's another thing? Uh, will you go? In? Will you? Yes. Will you go in? Is that cost? Practice. I'm sorry. Sorry, Juan Carlos, I didn't understand you. Yes, I, I say, I, I tell you, um, we finish <laughs> all the all, all sentences, but we can we can practice with another sentences about what about our future. Yes. Well. Mm. Um, I'm going to get married this year. And when? Sorry. This year, I'm going to get married this year. It's a sentence, and... it's really. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be a small wedding or a big wedding? A uh, small wedding. Yeah, because with this COVID thing is very difficult, right? To have a yeah, big wedding. It yes, it is. But, it, but it's better for the pocket. Because <laughs> yes, you don't have to be spending so much money. <laughs> yes, I don't have to spend a lot. Yeah, that's a, a very that good excuse. It's going to be a small. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Es tiempo de arrepentirse todavía. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. How can I say that? Sure. I don't want to? Arrepentirme? Oh, um. Yeah, you could say um, it's it's you. There's enough time to go back. You can say it's simply like a go Volver back atrás. in this context. In this context, okay. Go back. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go back. <laughs> yeah, go back. Go back on your promise, right? Or go back on on your your yeah your your plan. Okay. <laughs> And you, do you have another uh, sentence to uh, tell me? Yes. I'm going to spend, uh, spend it at my house. And I might go to San Francisco, um, dripping into the Sapo River, or Rio El Sapo, in San Francisco, Cotena. 
only. Okay, good. But remember to use the future be going to or will. Because you, you just used might. So you said I might go, but we have to use will. That's the idea to use will, something like that. Okay? Yes, you sure. And, and where do you live, Luis Alberto? I live in I to Tepec. Okay. And I have a question. What are your plans for the next year? For everyone. Repeat, please. What are your plans for the next year? Or you said that if you went, you can. You can tell me or Kelly. Okay, I am. I am going. I am. I am. Okay, so I have everybody back. Great. So you had opportunity of talking about your plans and your um, your your plans, intentions uh, about the future, uh, about the, the the this weekend, and things that you're not sure about. Now, what I want you to do now is we're, I'm going to open up. I'm going to get. I'm going to mix you up again, and get you into a new group. And this time, you're not going to write anything. This time it's going to be more spontaneous, okay? So you're not going to be reading anything of what you wrote. Instead, it's going to be more spontaneous. And what I want you to do is I want you to think about what plans do you have for your next vacation? Now, I know that, um, you know, vacations is, is uh, very difficult nowadays, you know, especially with all the pandemic and everything. And um, so I just want you to think about what plans um, you have for the vacation, like, or what, what would you, like, the next vacation? So you're thinking about, it could either be the vacation that is coming up, um, the the one for March, right, like what you call here in, in El Salvador, Semana Santa, or it could be a vacation you have planned for, your, for you and your family, and you're going to go somewhere outside of, of the country or outside of your city, okay? So anything at all. So I'm going to get you again to work in groups. I'm going to switch you up. Um, okay, um, and here we go. Hello.
Hi. Hi. Hi, good. How are you? Are you here? I'm fine, Kelly. Good. And you, how are you? I'm fine too. Luis, are you here? Yeah, welcome. I'm here. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> okay, thanks. Who is the star? Yes, go ahead. Uh, we often go out on vacation. I I think I will visit my my grandmother and just like that. <laughs> um, I don't have plans to <laughs> with with next vacation with with next vacation. Um, maybe I I will to play I will play soccer one day. It's all. <laughs> okay. In vacation, man. Yes. Okay. Um, vacation, I going to spend um, in my house, and then I I went to go to San Francisco, driving into the Sapo, the Rio Sapo. I will eat uh, Toto posters with coffee, uh, and I and I'll, I will visit my brother-in-law, and then we go to that. Are you sure about that, or you're not, or have you decided about that, or you're not sure? Yes, I, 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 I sure. Okay, if you're sure, then it's better to use I'm going to instead of I will. Does that make sense? So instead, uh, instead of saying, I will, blah, 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 you're going to say, I'm going to, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Sounds good? Okay, Tisha, I understand. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> okay, about me, um, I am going to visit my parents on Chalatenango. And also I am going to to walk with horses and I am going to the mountain and I think only that. Carlos, can you hear me? Sure. <laughs> for moving. Okay, for moving. <laughs> um, drama. Also. Drama, yes. Yeah. Drama is a good topic. Soap operas. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> do, you like, do you like soap operas? I don't like. No, no, I don't like it. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. And, and also, probably I will buy a piano. So ah. Learning to play piano. Really? Yeah. It's a nice learning. To play right, the try, to say, try to say I will probably instead of probably I will probably. and say I will probably. Okay, teacher, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. 
and that, that's it. That's and it. Esther? Esther? Uh, the next vacation, I want to go to the beach with my family and have time with my friends that I haven't seen for a long time. I'm also going to celebrate the birthday of my friend who was born in Nice. My, and, my friend's birthday. So instead of my the birthday of my friend, my friend's birthday. Make you okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just no yeah, we're we're no. learning, so don't worry. I'm just helping you out. So don't worry. Yes, thank you, teacher. Well, You're you. welcome. And who is the next? Will will you have my, many many time with your friends and your family on vacation, Esther? Yes, I want to have time, but okay. You you working possible. every day? You working every day? Yes, I work um, every day. Ah, okay. You don't have time for your friends, for your family. You have a little time for your family, I imagine. <laughs> for <laughs> me? Yes, and for you, too. <laughs> for you, too. Only for sleeping. <laughs> this is your time. <laughs> When you are sleeping, it's your time. Yeah, you imagine. Yes. Yes. It's the reality. Probably I would like to go in a restaurant and have a wonderful a wonderful dinner. Maybe um maybe um a steak or wine and 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 a stuff. Okay. And floor. Flora Leticia. Hello. Hello, Flor. <coughs> I guess you're alone. Hello, Nancy. Oh, oh there she is. Has everybody had an opportunity to speak? Yes, you sure, but only Leticia, I think, is not there. Oh, okay, okay. Anyways, we're gonna go back to the session, so I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, be sure.
Okay, all right guys, um, so we have finished there the, our practice. Um, all I'm, I'm going to try to send you there some, some exercises more for you to continue practicing. And uh, what I really need everybody to do is I need everybody to have finished section up to section five for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna be reviewing the final exam. If any, there are any questions, I will answer with with um, you know no hesitation. I will go ahead and help you with anything from the. Um, oh, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't don't worry, Leticia. I understand. Where it's it's you know it happens. We have problems with with um, our technology sometimes. You know it happens to me too. So don't worry. But um, thank you anyways. Okay, so like I said, um, I need everybody to work on the platform. Minimum, I need you to have finished section five, okay? And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the final uh, exam. We're gonna be looking at the final exam if you have any questions because tomorrow by midnight, you have to, you have to have finished the platform, okay? No hay de otra, tienen que verlo terminado, okay? All right, guys, so that's it. See you tomorrow. Have fun. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye, teachers. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye.